Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're gonna take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of April in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. First we're gonna start with your Rose Oracle card and the card that popped out for you was Trust the Seasons, Embracing Change, Cycles of Life, Transition and growth so this is a very interesting card because uh, when you look at the the, the the way the seasons go uh, roses and, and generally the season goes <clears throat> through a, a process of um, growth then uh, there's a, a, a silent time and then after that uh, comes again the rebirth and 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 the growth and and this cycle is very important you cannot just keep focusing on grow 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 and and just uh, making sure that that everything is uh, yeah, getting better all the time sometimes we need to go through different cycles and this is this card is all about that you need to embrace this change you need to embrace that you know sometimes in order to find the happiness you need to go through uh, some solitude you need to uh, embrace that you know sometimes <clears throat> you have some quieter times or even in a relationship if you are uh, maybe you know in order to appreciate uh, the happiness sometimes you need to go through some difficulties as well and, and and this is what this card is all about embracing that natural change natural cycle of relationship natural cycle of life that sometimes uh, you uh, need to go down in order to go up. But let's see what the tarot is telling us for you. <clears throat> in the center of your reading, you do have the Hierophant. The Hierophant, which is the card of tradition. And uh, this is also a card that's based on, uh, like, you know, if you're single, you can ex expect somebody with similar values coming into your life. Uh, this is kind of like the... the a typical marriage card in tarot this can be uh, a, a, a long-term relationship coming into your life it can be that an existing relationship is turning into more serious this is kind of like when you are making some kind of a commitment to somebody and this is also like you know connected to your faith as well some of you need to uh, just believe a little bit more that the universe is on your side believe in yourself but again this is the card of uh, traditions the card of what we learned uh, and 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 a very important uh, message here that you know there's something uh, for some of you uh, if you're single uh, you can expect uh, a lasting relationship coming to your life or uh, there might be some marriage as well but let's see the first card you have here is the temperance the temperance is the card uh, that's kind of telling you that don't rush into anything because uh, slow and steady is is kind of that gets you uh, to win the race this is kind of like the energy when when you need to take one step at after another and if you take this one step after another you're gonna be able to create something great you're gonna be able to achieve something amazing so if you're single um, or if you are already in an existing relationship definitely an indication that don't rush into anything just take your time take one step at a time and 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 and, and let things evolve in its natural way right like you can we kind of talked here about um, the embracing embracing change and the cycle of life so just don't rush and embrace how some sometimes certain things evolve in your life the next card we have here is the hangman. The hangman is generally a stuck energy. It comes out when when something in our life uh, is is stuck, stuck in a rut, and 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 you are not kind of um, seeing how you're going to be able to evolve from it. This is kind of the card uh, that can indicate that. For example, if you're single, you might be single for a while, uh, especially with the temperance card. There's some very slow moving energy even if you are in a relationship it can be an, in, an indication that maybe the relationship is stuck it is not evolving into anywhere and and when this card comes up it's it's very important for you to take uh, see things from a different perspective see things from a different angle and 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 really uh, 
get the enlightenment what you need sometimes when the hangman comes out you also need to consider to um to give up something to sacrifice something because you know this person is sacrificing all of his senses to get the enlightenment so whatever it is for you think about how can you see things uh, from a different perspective or what is that you need to sacrifice in order to reach uh, your relationship goals but you also have here the four of wands four of wands is the card of a new beginning a new chapter in our life the 11 11 when things are opening up for you when doors are opening up for you this is the card of celebration joy and uh, and practically this is also a card of marriage so for some of you some kind of a marriage question is definitely in the air um, it might be that a, a new relationship comes, in, comes into your life or it might be that an existing relationship is 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 a uh, uh, to, uh, that talks about getting married because you have both the four of wands and the hierophant and they are both representing marriage or some kind of a celebration as well like a milestone so so there's definitely some kind of a marriage question here and you also have the page of wands Page of Wands um, can be uh, first and foremost a message, uh, something like a very exciting, very uh, refreshing message. Um, it can be also um, an indication of a younger person in your life, maybe, uh, because, you know, it's a court card. But, but this is a very adventurous card as well, like, you know, some kind of an exciting messages, ex exciting dates, maybe, some kind of an adventurous uh, nature. Uh, but but you might be also getting some news from some kind of a, somebody's getting married and you also have the high priestess which is very interesting you do have both the hierophant and the high priestess so uh, both uh, your your conscious and your subconscious uh, are present this is the card that's kind of uh, first of all telling you that you need to listen to your inner voice listen to your guidance say your intuition because that's what can i'm gonna hold uh, the key uh, to your questions this is also a card that's kind of telling us that you might be very attractive this period of time and you are able to get pretty much everybody who you want because the high priestess has unlimited potential as well it can be also a person who is very quiet or very um like uh, his uh, this person's demeanor is is very quiet but but deep down they're actually very sexual people now the high priestess can be secrets for some of you uh, because she is generally mute she doesn't talk about anything so maybe you're kind of dealing with somebody uh, who has secrets or who doesn't like to talk about things but very important uh, to showcase like you know that as i said you have both the high priestess and the hierophant um, because you know the high priestess is uh, representing your unconscious while the hierophant is representing your conscious whatever you know whatever you learned versus whatever you uh, feel whatever you sense so some of you might need to balance that in this process of of uh, uh, relationship and, and and you know transitions and and, and growth and and uh, the natural cycles of of life and relationship but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons and i'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is uh, resonating uh, with your life but let's continue now you also have the nine of cups nine of cups is a beautiful energy this is the card of celebration joy and also a card of wish fulfillment so some of you might expect some kind of a dream come to uh, into your life something that you wished for and and, and it will definitely uh, manifest itself very important to see the two figures on the on the page of ones and the nine of um, cups if you look at it they kind of have the same position they are both of them are very happy both of them are are jumping for joy and this might be you maybe there's a message that you are expecting where you're gonna hear some kind of a very positive news that's related to your 
wishes. Now the next we have here is the devil. The devil which is the card of Capricorn. So it can be uh, that uh, just a confirmation that your energy is very much in this reading. But the devil uh, can be also feeling stuck, right? Um, and, and, and especially with the hangman energy uh, right here, some of you might be feeling uh, that you are in a situation when you where you are stuck, where you don't see the way out. Um, the devil can also be like, you know, dependency. Maybe some of you are in a codependent relationship. Some of you are um, dependent on um, on uh, certain things like alcohol or or drugs or sex. Uh, very uh, interesting the combination of the nine of cups and the uh, and the devil because the nine of cups is somebody who enjoys life to the fullest, and when the devil comes in, it can be actually that maybe the, you need to kind of balance that. Um, like this is a very adventurous, lusty energy. Uh, uh, while this one is kind of more a reserved uh, uh, and, 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 and more of a traditional one. And you have kind of like the Hierophant uh, and the Devil that are kind of, um, again, connecting to the heavens versus connecting to, to the Devil. Uh, I think for some of you, you need to kind of uh, control how much lust, how much uh, uh, fun you have in your life. Uh, because the devil, if you are single, it can also indicate uh, that you might be going through some relationships that are not um, serving you. Uh, they're kind of more there for the fun only. And, and you know, the challenge with the devil, uh, whatever the, this devil represents into your life, that the devil always have a very attractive side to it. Um, like, you know, it can be that, you know, yes, you might be single, but you are enjoying having fun. And that kind of uh, keeps you uh, in that uh, uh, cycle as well. It might be as well that, you know, you are with a person in a relationship that you know that it's not the best for you. But there's something good in that relationship for you. There's something that keeps you um, uh, going back for more. And when the devil comes out, it's an indication as well, you know, you need to kind of... Uh, uh, make sure that you're the only one who can change on this, whatever this devil is. Some of you might be going through a repetitive cycle as well, or some of you might be obsessed about something, because the devil can be like, you know, when we are obsessed about uh, something in our life. Definitely an indication that you need to pay attention for balance. And you also have here the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a slow uh, moving energy as well, which is very interesting uh, seeing it with the temperance. Uh, Nine of Pentacles can be a person as well, uh, somebody who is very liable. Uh, it can be also a sign of a long term relationship. Uh, so, as I said, it can be a, a reliable person, a loyal person, somebody who is there for you on the long run. If you're single, you can definitely expect somebody with this nature coming in. Or if you, or some of you might be ordered in a long-term relationship. It's kind of interesting for me when you look at look at the overall energy of this card, of the of the cards. There's a very slow-moving energy here, with the Temperance, with the Hangman, and the Knight of Pentacles. There's some very slow-moving, slow progress, which again, like you might 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 be connected also to this uh, transition and and cycles of life. There's definitely a question of uh, conscious and unconscious and then lust and, and marriage as well. So some of you might be uh, balancing and that. But let's see what is at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck you have the Fool. The Fool, uh, which is the card of a new beginning, a new chapter in, in your life. Uh, and But it is also adventurous. Like the Fool likes the adventure, likes to fool around. Uh, so called. So some of you might be kind of just just uh, balancing that, uh, but it might be also a new chapter, a new beginning, a new relationship, or in 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 some of your life. So it's a very interesting uh, mixed energy. There's definitely you need to embrace the change of life and the and the change of uh, seasons in the in this spread. Um, so that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you, and I'll be able to welcome you again.